Hello, Stephen. Thank you for calling in today. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well, thank you. We're Hi. here with Father Claude. Hi, how are you, Stephen? Good to see you. Hi, Father. So you you had a question or you had a like a topic you wanted to talk about? Yeah. Um, okay, so, um, yeah, I find that uh, during my holy hours, um, uh, I tend to... I tend to like start off in some kind of distraction and the distraction kind of keeps me from focusing on prayer. Okay. And, uh, and like, even I'll try to open my palms to face up and like try to like have that not be a distraction, but then that's a distraction too. And, uh -huh. um, yeah. So like sometimes, like sometimes like no matter how hard I try, I keep falling into distraction, even though I, like, I keep trying to make that distraction go away. And then I try to focus on the Eucharist on, in adoration. Uh huh. Somehow it, it just keeps on coming up and there's nothing I can really do. And then I kind of like beat myself up about it. And I kind of right. feel bad because mm -hmm. my prayer is like not as fruitful because I wasn't, I wasn't completely there. Mm -hmm. How often do, do, you, do you pray? Uh, I pray, uh, so I'm a focused missionary, so I actually pray uh, an hour every day. Uh, that's oh. what we're required to do. Yeah. Great. Great. All right. Well, that's good. First of all, it's good that you do that. Uh, when they say an <laughs> hour, when, you have to, when you're required to do an hour... Uh, prayer, does it require a particular way of prayer that you have to do an hour of meditation? Or could you, for example, do 20 minutes of rosary, then do some reading of the gospel, and then do 20 minutes mental prayer? Yeah, we can definitely, I can definitely, uh, I definitely have variety to how I choose uh -huh. to pray. Um, I'm, I've been choosing recently to kind of try to strengthen my prayer um, and like my mental prayer. So what I'll do is I normally just bring a rosary. Perfect. And so I can do a rosary, and then the rest of the time I try to focus on God. Right. And then that that's that's where it's a hit and miss. Maybe like, yeah, once in a while I get just too many distractions and I can't really focus. And I, even even though I try to nap before the holy hour, it's really right. good, mm -hmm. good, good. Get that over with, you know. Yeah. So. Well, I think it, first of all, that's a great thing that you're doing this effort, and God sees that. Just off the bat, I'm going to mm -hmm. tell you, God is very happy and pleased that you're dedicating that time to him, even if it's a struggle. And this is a reality that uh, many people have, uh, anyone has, everybody has, even St. Teresa of Avila, uh, St. Teresa of Jesus, mm -hmm. uh, had to fight this difficulty, darkness, or if you want, desolation in prayer. So, first of all, be know, know that God is happy that you're doing it, that you're trying, and you keep trying, okay? And mm -hmm. then, uh, what okay. I would say is the following, sometimes having a book, uh, so you do your, suppose, 20 minutes rosary, then uh, you read something of the gospel, and then to have a little, uh, like a book, like the Imitation of Christ or something, to, to reread what you were thinking about, to bring your mind back to the topic of, com of, of prayer, is helpful, right? So, and sometimes mm -hmm. I remember myself, you know, even being a seminarian, sometimes being a priest, it's not easy to concentrate because you have all these concerns and anxieties and worries mm -hmm. and people that are you know praying asking you to pray for them and so forth so uh, sometimes rereading something and getting back to the topic of uh, meditation and rereading like 20 times that time uh, you know at times i remember doing that a lot like mm -hmm. you had to go back 20 times to the same text to what was it that i was thinking you know and uh, it's yeah. it's not it's not something that happens because you're doing something wrong it's because it's proper of our human nature. St. Teresa of Avila called the imagination the crazy one in the house, right? So it, it mm -hmm. goes crazy, doesn't want to mm -hmm. sit quiet. Yeah, and also you have to think that it's impossible for us to be concentrated all the time. When the Lord is offending is when we want to be distracted. For example, if you grab your phone during meditation, right. well, of course, you mm -hmm. have to do that. But we are weak, and the Lord loves us the same being weak. He loves us anyway. Now then, when you are distracted, you have to, you, you have to think that he's angry with you. He he sees his son praying, trying while you try, while you fight. There's no problem. Mm -hmm. Now there was a, a saint who was very very dry in prayer, and he used to go to pray just to say, "My Lord, I am like a donkey in your presence." Mm -hmm. That was the prayer. Mm -hmm. He couldn't say any anything more deep or deeper at that moment. But for the Lord, it was a beautiful prayer because he wa he was a a humble prayer, not recognize him. I'm distracted. This is me. They don't think that the Lord is um, evaluating your, your prayer according right. to your concentration. He's looking at your heart. Mm -hmm. While you try, he, he's happy with you. Right. And I, uh, mm -hmm. something good that just this is a thing I uh, read in St. Saint Therese of Lisieux uh, related mm -hmm. to what Father Claude just said. He said that uh, don't worry if you get distracted, God still 
likes your prayer, and that's true, but I would say a bit more. And St. Teresa, St. Therese of Lisieux says, God actually is more attentive to you and loves you more because of your weaknesses. Okay? Mm. So okay. it's like you have, you have uh, like those families, they have three kids and one is a little disabled and they pay more attention to the disabled child. Okay? So mm -hmm. you're, imagine yourself, okay, God, I'm spiritually disabled. Can you please <laughs> help me more? I need, and he will. Uh -huh. His heart will turn yeah. more to you not because you are mm -hmm. super profound and mystic a uh, prayer life, but because you are spiritually disabled. Okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so not that you are, I'm just saying that we're all, mm -hmm. in a sense, mm -hmm. and we all have that perception, like, I can't pray, you know, I, what can I do? Well, remember, God pays, ha loves you more because you're trying and you have that l difficulty, okay? So don't, don't be concerned and don't give up. Hmm? Okay. It, what, what you can do is just start over and be humble say sorry my lord and start over do not concentrate uh, in in being distracted because otherwise yeah. it, is, it makes prayer more more difficult all right very good steven thank you okay. thank you so much for calling us i wish we could have more time to talk but this is great great topic of discussion and thank you for for sharing your concerns with us thank you thank you fathers okay good God bless have you steven. Good day. have a good day take care thank you Thank mm -hmm. you.